In this week's Photoshop design tutorial, I'll teach you how to do a simple um design in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny, and you can find me over at RitaPro.com, the channel where you get to learn everything about Photoshop design in weekly quick tutorials. In this week's episode, I've got a very simple design for you. We're basically gonna work with three different fonts and clutter them all together and create one simple design. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in our right hand side here in the layers palette, you guys get to see already that I have a design and a background here. So I'm gonna start right away out just with the background and then go over into the design. So let's turn off our design group here. We're gonna go into that in a minute. Let's first quickly look at our background. So if you're completely new to this, please also have a look on the channel. Some more tutorials teaching you how to get into canvas sizes and all of that. Once you get to that stage, first of all, obviously create a white canvas. Now, then I went onto Google and I surfed for paper backdrops or paper backgrounds. So you can actually get a really cool paper background. So this is my paper background. Let's also take the opacity all the way up to 100 again. So obviously I just drag it in and place it right on top at 100%. And then I took it down just to 77% or around about 70%. So the white can shine through a little bit. Obviously that our black logo can stand out a bit. Okay, so my first step now would be to create a adjustment layer, a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So I can just take out all of the browns here from the paper. If you do like this color, you can also obviously leave it like so. I actually took out the color with the hue and saturation adjustment layer. So let's do that. I'm going to delete it and simply go up to adjustments, select the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And now on the master tones, only take the saturation all the way down and you will be left just with a gray layer. Okay, so it's a gray paper layer now, and that is all for the background. Again, I took all of these layers, hold shift on the keyboard, select everything, press command G, and put this together in a group and rename it to background. So again, guys, I'm working with a Mac. I'm, for me, it's command and G for all the Windows people. Please press control when I say command. Okay, so that was the first step, obviously creating just the background. Now let's move over to, first of all, working just with our title on the canvas. For that, I'm going to select the text tool, make a nice big selection, and my main word now is urban. So with capital letter U, R B A N, urban. Okay, there we have it right away. So in the top application bar here, I'm just going to make my size a bit bigger, and also first of all select the right font that I want to work with. So today's font is called here Brew Rubble Personal Use Only for Regular. So this font is also copyrighted to the owner. Um, please have a look more in the description down below also if you want to find the font again. So as you guys can see it's still too big, the tracking isn't right. So first of all I'm going to go over to the right hand side here to the character box. Also if you don't have the character box please go to window and select character box over here. Now in the character box I'm going to work with the tracking here and just set it back to zero. Great. And that is, first of all, our name already, Urban, there. But let's maybe take the capital away from the beginning. So I'm just going to make a small U there because it looks a bit nicer. So Urban it is. And now, first of all, I'm going to up the font a little bit. So for me, it should be around 150, 160. Have a look, nice and big. Yeah, 155, 155 is good. I'm going to accept it, take the Move tool. And let's just move it somewhere here into the center. Also now with Photoshop CC, uh, Photoshop gives you some really cool guidelines. As you guys can currently see, there's that pink line that's appearing. So it helps you a little bit of uh, placing your stuff already. But if you don't have CC, you can always go up to View and say New Guide over here and quickly create new guides under New Guide. With that, I'm just going to type here 50%. Okay, and that is the center. And obviously you can do it for horizontally as well. Now, next that would be... Going back to the text tool, I'm going to make a nice big selection again and going to write now more of the subtle things, something like the slogan or another thing, another uh, little word that will be under the logo. So in my case, it's now undercover. So all in capital letters, I'm just going to write undercover. Okay, obviously it's still in the wrong font. So let's make that a bit smaller so we can first of all see it undercover written right. And then, first of all, I'm also going to go back to the application bar and select a new font for that. Now, for this font, I'm also going to work here again with PT Serif Regular. You guys can also find that down below in the description. It's a pretty standard font. Okay, select everything. We're going to, first of all, make 
our size. So I'm going to go around 46, 45, something around there. That's great. But I am still want to work a bit with my tracking because it's obviously too narrow. So I'm going to go over to the character box, select tracking. And over here, I know it is around 700. Let's have a look. Yep, 700 that is. And I'm going to make that a bit more, 720. And I'm happy with that. Okay, select it. Again, hit OK on the keyboard. Take the move tool. And you can literally now move this a little bit around. Also, you can use your cursors, obviously, on the keyboard in order to move this around. Great, so happy with that. Last step is again duplicating also this undercover uh, text and then we can just rewrite on that instead of creating it from scratch. So it's super easy to do that. Just press Command J, duplicate that layer. Again, for the Windows people, please press Control. Okay, I'm going to select the text tool. No, first the move tool. Move this down a bit. Now I'm going to select the text tool on the keyboard with T. Select everything. And I'm basically going to write now a small text like every day basics but better Boom. there we go so everyday basics but better okay it's written way too big so let's take everything and make it nice and small like a 10 size here okay 10 is a bit too small let's go with 20 yep that's also still a bit too big for me i'm gonna go with like 17 great okay i can still see mistakes here so let's just take out all of this and we're going to go over here and just type that a bit better. Yeah. Okay. And now I'm going to select everything again and also work a bit with my tracking. So 700 is a bit too much. Let's go with like a 600. Accept it with enter and take the move tool again. And I'm basically just going to move this around a little bit so until it fits in here. And I'm also now obviously looking at the spacing between the top title and the second one. And then also obviously in between here. Okay, one more tick that I always do is press Z on the keyboard in order to zoom out and just get a feel what it looks like smaller. And if you zoomed out a little bit, does the whole thing feel a bit centered and does it look on both sides good? Okay, I'm gonna take all of these layers again with Shift on the keyboard or you can also press Command. Select all of the layers, press Command G and I'm gonna put this together in a group and call this Design. Okay, let's move it all the way to the top so we know this is actually our second design here. And also, let's take the move tool and we're going to move that whole thing into the center. So yeah, that's basically it already, guys. Let's have a quick look before and after. This was the first design and then my second design. So almost the same. A very, very simple tutorial and a very simple uh, logo to do here in case you wanted to do something very subtle for a change. Last step again, view and say clear guides and you're ready to save. Guys, so that is basically it for again creating the urban design here in Photoshop. Also, now remember you can always go back onto Google and find some different paper backgrounds in order to let your design look different from the start out. So yeah, guys, if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop design, then click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop design tutorials every single week. So yeah, we love to stay in touch. Leave your feedback down below in the comment section or send us your tutorial request right away to tutorials at retapro.com. Thanks again guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. And you are still here, so that most probably means you want to see some more tutorials. Yeah, and just check here on the right hand side, there's more tutorials just bundled up straight for you. And if you want to download all of this, have a look down below in the description is a link straight directly to our website where you can download all for free.